Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. So, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the ultimate hunting and fishing guide to make money in Red Dead Online. Before we get started, you guys, seriously, thank you so much for coming back out, watching another one of my videos, and spending some time with me out here. I know it's busy, I know you have a lot going on, but this guide will definitely help you make a lot of money in Red Dead Online. First, let's start off with what you need. Now, these are in no particular order, just things that you're going to want to come back to and get eventually, all right? Uh, a fishing rod. That does not unlock until rank 14, but definitely get that. It's a good way to make money in this game. Varmint rifle. Definitely pick up one of those. The repeater rifle you get as soon as you jump into online. The bow for your bow and arrow, worms for your fishing rod, this, a scoped rifle at some point in the game, and then of course the lasso and knife and the regular cattleman pistol you'll have as well. But the pistol is really not going to be used for a uh, for any kind of hunting, so I don't want to put that on there. But these are the things that you're going to want to start out with. You know, er, these are the things that are rank 14 and below that you know all the beginners and things like that uh, will be using to make money. And I'm, I promise you, you will make some good money. I know the grind is ridiculous on Red Dead Online, and Rockstar did say that they are going to adjust the economy. But until then, and going forward, I promise you, this is what you're going to have to have. Okay. So, most importantly, always try and get a three-star pelt. Every time you aim at an animal, it will give you that basic information. If you hit R2 to show info, it'll give you even more information. For example, it'll tell you what kind of weapon to actually use. With the alligator, it tells you to use a bow with improved arrows or a long scope rifle. Come up to a little possum right here. It says use a vermin rifle or a varmint rifle to get a clean kill and as you see I take the shot at two stars with the pelt after I kill him it's still two stars alright now sometimes you'll lose a star when you're shooting these animals it's okay alright you wanna go not just for quality but also for quantity as well and definitely take heed at this advice right here again a lot of these birds have extremely extremely expensive feathers and you can get a lot of money from them. And I'll show you that here in just a minute in addition, don't forget, you can store animals not only on the back of your horse, but on the sides where your saddle is as well. All right? You can stow animals on the back, the sides, and this is extremely important right here. This is a great way to make some extra money. Say you're all done with your hunt. You got your horse filled up. Kill another animal on the way out. Don't skin it, and then you can just toss your lasso while you're on your horse as you see I just did with that alligator and you can literally drag a full carcass all the way back to the butcher and listen to this if you say you get a three star you kill it right you lasso it you kill it you uh, bring it on back it won't lose any stars if you drag it all the way now I have lost one before just out, out of nowhere it glitched out and went away and one of them I was beaten up real bad over rocks and it did lose one star but once again a whole carcass with all the extra trimmings and things like that it's a, a good chunk of change that you can bring back with you so that's very very important once you get back to the butcher that's when you can skin it get all the parts off of it and then sell the carcass as a whole in itself so a very important tip right there you can also even steal another saddled horse and use that to double up your load of all your carcasses but they do tend to run away pretty quick so I didn't want to focus too much on that, but that is something you can do. As long as you can keep that horse under control, it's all good. You can do that. All right, as you saw right there, those feathers sold for $15. All right, look out for those type of birds. But once again, every time you go kill something, for some reason, the game just spawns birds all over the place, and you can just mark them out and pick up some extra feathers. Uh, the feathers, some of them sell really good, some of them don't. Either way, remember, we're just trying to get as much as we can. Uh, you want to aim for about... I'd say between 40 and $70 for every one of your hunting trips, depending on what types of animals you kill. Sell all the meat. You don't need meat that much to eat in this game. And honestly, on one hunting trip, you'll get enough meat. You can just cook at a camp or some kind of fire somewhere, and you'll be good to go for a while. Okay, so don't, don't worry about that. Sell everything. As you see right here, I made some really good money. My hunting trip lasted about 15, 20 minutes. And I made about 45 bucks, so that's really not that bad. You see right here, you don't have to shoot the animals if you don't want to lose a star, if you feel like your gun is not, you know, the right type or whatever. 
You can just lasso the animal, fight it to come towards you with the stamina drain, and then kill it, and then you have a clean kill right here. You don't have to worry about damaging the carcass. Now, be careful. If you run over these carcasses with your horse, it will drop the stars down, so just keep that in mind. So you can skin it, get everything you need off of it, and then you can you know, put the pelt on the back of the horse, and then you can load the carcass on the back as well. Uh, you know, you can load, and don't forget, once again, you can load the side of your horse uh, saddle with birds or snakes. Uh, shoot as many little varmint as you can. Basically, go out to the woods, set a waypoint to the nearest butcher, and on the way to that butcher, just whatever you see, just shoot and kill. Just kill everything. Shoot everything, right? I'm just loading up all my, my horse with everything I got, you know, pelts, this and that. As you see, these birds start sp are you know spawning out everywhere. So I get out my varmint rifle, which is what you want to use for the birds. And as you see right here, I cap I think like four or five birds in just a matter of no time at all. Go run, pick up those feathers. You know, if you get lucky, you get a good bird on there. If not, no big deal. Um, you know, there's areas around the map that have really good animals that you could they'll show up on the map for you. Uh, the north part of Saint Denis is a good area. A lot of my uh, subscribers and people on Reddit are talking about that for birds. Uh, that's cool. Strawberry is a great spot for a lot of good animals, for bear and things like that. Um, so definitely, you know, keep that in mind. You get some really good animals out there. As you see on the way back to the butcher, I'm just riding. I saw a two-star uh, doe. I didn't want to shoot it. I just caught up to it, lassoed it, got a clean kill. And now it's this is a carcass I can bring back with me, get an extra four or five bucks out of it. it probably more, actually. We'll see here in just a minute. I lasso. Now, you won't get a lock on to lasso. Just throw your rope at the carcass, and it will go ahead and hitch it up. And you, as you see right there, I'm dragging it on out. And once again, you're not going to lose uh, your stars. Now, if you beat it up real bad you know, over some rocks, things like that, trample over it, yes. But as you see right here, I, I'm at 547. You know, I just... A whole bunch of stuff to sell, right? A bunch of food, you know, feathers, snakeskin, and I, I spawned into the map way away from a butcher at a waypoint and just kind of worked my way in there. Uh, so that was really beneficial. You can do a lot with this. You see right here, these feathers are selling for, you know, the snakeskin, 69 cents. Uh, you know, feathers, I got 15 cents a pop. I got a couple of them, so it sells for $1.35. You know, a good uh, little varmint pelt, you know, for, it, it may not seem like a lot individually. Oh, 15 cents, 90 cents. But when you have four or five, six of them, you know, and you have 20 or you have 16 blocks filled up, uh, that it starts to add up into a good amount of money. And that's really, really cool. It, that definitely helps out. There's no way around that. Uh, and, you know, once again, over time, this, you know, it, it, this is a farming mechanism. This is a farming tactic. You know, we're literally farming the wildlife in the game. This is the money grind right now for Red Dead Online, and it does pay out good. And you can always mix this up with, you know, doing uh, PvP uh, missions and things like that. And if you want to get to rank 14 and get the money to buy a varmint rifle and other things like that, just do the tutorial missions, the Horley missions. Uh, the Horley missions will give you enough money and get you a good chunk of rank to be able to get these things unlocked and to buy Okay, so don't worry about that. A poor fox pelt, 90 cents, almost a buck. That's, you know, a couple boxes of ammo right there. That'll definitely pay for itself in the end. So you're really, you're making a lot of net profit with this method and with these tactics right here. You know, a buck 20 for a carcass for a turkey, $6 for a good buck. That's a two-star uh, carcass, $6 for that. All right, I mean, come on. You know, making some good money right there. Then I pick up the other carcass that I have, right? Carry that over. I put it on my horse. I'm not sure if you can just drop it close to that guy. i just been putting it on my horse and then just selling it from that. Uh, there's probably an easier way to do that. But, uh, you know, <laughs> whatever, right? Uh, another 420 So off two deer carcasses, I made over $10. That's good money right there, man. Nothing wrong with that at all. Ended up with $591. So I made about, what, 50 bucks and about, I don't know, 15 20 minutes right there this is very important as well make sure you clean your guns oil your guns because you, they will lose their accuracy and it will hurt the quality of the pelt as you shoot them and this as well as you're out in the woods picking up pelts and things like that make sure you are picking plants and carrots that's good you can eat those you can sell them some of these will sell for 50 cents a pop you can feed them to your horse keep the stamina going so make sure you do that use your dead eye to help you see the types of plants you can pick up now once you get to rank 14 
you get some money just right out to you know a whatever just go to your catalog and go in here and get a go to the hunting and fishing and you want to pick up your fishing rod now it's 32 bucks that's not that hard to get that kind of money you get that fishing rod you want to buy some worms worms are about 50 cents a can and uh, for just one fish that you catch it'll pay for itself double okay so definitely that pick up so if you got you know i'd say spend three or four bucks on some worms all right i think you get like four or five per can so it's definitely worth it right there and then go to a nice lake i used uh don julio lake right this is i found a lake called don julio <laughs> that i thought that was dope i had to come out here all right this is my very first cast i'm just going to show you the whole thing all the way through you you know bait the worms on the hook it tells you how to do everything it's very very easy you just reel it in and as soon as you start to feel the uh, I, I I manually did that little jerk but as soon as you feel the the uh, line start to like kind of you know a fish bite it and it bends like that and just hit R1 to hook it and then reel it in if it struggles don't reel it in just go to the left or the right to tire the fish out and that way you won't break your line after it stops struggling just start reeling it back in. See, it struggles some more. It's starting to flip up, you know, water and things like that. I just I take off the reel. I go right or left, let it get tired out, and then I reel it back in. And fishing in this game is pretty nice. It does a couple of things. It helps your health. It, it builds your health up, which is really cool. And it pays very, very good. And it's kind of nice. I mean, we're just sitting here chilling at the lake, you know, having a good day, just relaxing, you know, just doing our thing. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it can get boring every now and again. Once again, you can always mix it up with some PvP missions or some uh, online missions in here or whatever to make some more money. But getting right now at a, at a low rank to be able to get bass, some of these bass will pay out over $4 per bass. That is awesome. You spent $0.50 cents for a can of worms. And you get over four dollars for one bass. Now, there's different types of bass. This rock bass sells for a dollar. No big deal. That's fine. Uh, this guy right here, the smallmouth bass, pays out two dollars. And I had six of them, so that was twelve bucks. And as you see right here, I had ten fish on my person. So a ton of money to be made right there. And plus, on the way out, I was shooting a couple of birds while I was out there. Picked up some of those guys. Got some feathers. You know what I mean? So you know, you're you're collecting all this as you go. And this truly is, you know, a really right now. This you know, until they come out with a DLC that's got, you know, uh, bank robbing, uh, you know, train robbing stuff like that. This is what we're going to be having to use, and there will be an update coming here pretty soon. So hopefully they don't nerf some of these prices, uh, which will be kind of a pain in the butt. But uh, either way, for, as of right now, I mean, you can log on, spend a couple hours, and make several hundred bucks. You could probably make anywhere between if you're really hustling and really paying attention to what you're doing and making sure you got all three star pelts, you know, getting clean kills, you could easily make between two and three hundred per hour doing this, all right? Staying very, very disciplined uh, and, you know, getting it knocked out and doing this, you can make some good money. And before you know it, you know, you have enough to buy a, a $300 hat, you know, or a jacket or whatever, right? Whatever you want to buy. There's not too much to buy in here right now. But you'll start to build up your bank and you'll have some good money uh, for when some cool stuff does come out to buy. I mean, there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be coming out to uh, get for this. All right, so a few things to remember. There's more things as well, but these are some of the most important things. Uh, don't forget three star pelts. Try and get those. If not, just get as much as you can. It's, it's quantity and quality. Don't forget to oil your weapons, all right? Use your lasso for kills, all right? That I help you get a clean kill, especially if you don't have the right type of weapon. Use the correct weapon as best you can, okay? Don't forget to pick plants and carrots. And definitely don't forget to drag an extra carcass on the way back. And then stow extra carcasses on your horse, like on the side of the saddle, birds and snakes and things like that sell as soon as you can so your pelts and your carcasses don't spoil it'll drop the amount of money that you'll get for them and also i didn't have it written on here but don't forget dead eye dead eye will help you just mash down both your joysticks and it helps things to glow that you can see them a little bit easier and you can hunt or you can track via a trail like dying animals and stuff like that so pretty cool i hope this helped out if you guys got any questions leave them in the comments down below definitely follow me on twitter at tylariusyt Instagram, Tylarius underscore YT. Check out my merchandise at redbubble.com, search Tylarius, and spreadshirt.com, search Tylarius. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it helped, and I really do. 
get that money, all right? Subscribe to my channel for the Illustrious Reels content the game. Make sure you smash me, smash that like button. Stay dangerous. Peace out. Yeah.